Gigantor Who? The year 2000. The place, the International Airport. A giant airliner approaches the field carrying a distinguished visitor, Ambassador Scamp of Scallywag. Gentlemen, I am Ambassador of Scalawag, an insignificant and poor little nation. Uh -huh. But before long, Scalawag will grow rich and strong and powerful, and I promise you the entire world will follow the leadership of our kingdom. <laughs> Ambassador Scamp is driven to the Scalawag Embassy by his right-hand man, Lefty Clever. <laughs> Nice going, sir. You made those reporters applaud. <laughs> <laughs> sure. They admire me for being patriotic. They don't know what I'm willing to do to make my country rich. Everything's ready for you to go into action, Scamp. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> International Airlines, I'll connect you with the President's private secretary if you wish. President AP's office, who is calling? Sorry, but he's busy now. What? Please wait a second. <laughs> Sir, this is an emergency. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cotton White, you're interrupting my program. But, sir, there's a bomb threat. What's that? A bomb threat? Oh. I talked to a man on the phone who threatened that he'll blow up one of our passenger planes unless he gets a million dollars. Oh, don't worry about it. It's undoubtedly just a joker trying to scare us. <laughs> but that's just a television show. Oh, oh, get the police. Call the fire department. And President AP refused to give the crook some money, huh? Yeah, that's right, Jimmy. Why should he give away one million dollars to some joker? That's a lot of money. Inspector, I'm not so sure that it's a joke. We've been getting reports of mysterious plane crashes the last few weeks or so from other countries all over the world. Don't worry. We're going to make an investigation at International Airport of all the baggage on any plane before it's allowed to take off. That way, we'll be doing our part to protect the passengers. Flight 303 for Laurentia, now departing at gate 12. Flight 303 for Laurentia, departing at gate 12. Davy's office. Oh, you again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we tried to warn you, and you wouldn't listen. Now we've set a bomb on flight 303 for Laurentia. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What are you going to do, Blooper? Oh, my. Oh, I don't know. You'll find kettle of fish. What's going on, Inspector? Jim, glad you're here to help me. We have a big problem. Remember that bomb threat business, Jim? Of course. We learned there really is a bomb set to go off on flight 303. A time bomb? Yes, and scheduled to explode at 3 o'clock sharp. So we're told. Hmm. Where is the flight? Is it far? Far enough. Where? About here, 500 miles off, on its way to Laurentia. We've ordered them to return to International Airport, but they can't make it by 3 o'clock. 
Those dirty crooks planned it, so the bomb will explode the plane halfway between here and Laurentia. Have they searched the plane? Well, they're searching, but they can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. Huh? Excuse her, just checking. What's that up there? Let's take a look. What are you doing taking my suitcase away? Say, what's this? My own alarm clock. I always carry it so I won't oversleep. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Scallywag Embassy... One more hour and they'll find out we mean what we say, right? Right! <laughs> yes, did you find the bomb? Hmm... You will? There's not a sign of it. They searched the plane bottom to top. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere in that plane. Hmm... Inspector Booper, there is something we can do. What do you suggest, Jim? Let Gigantor help. He could pull the plane back to International Airport. Yeah, that's right. Why didn't we think of that before? Excuse me, but I don't know what you two are talking about. Gigantor can pull the plane twice as fast as it normally goes and bring it down in time for the passengers to get out safely before the bomb explodes. Well, come on. Call Gigantor before it's too late. Gosh, there isn't much time. To hurry, Jim. What does your watch say, Inspector Blooper? Only ten more minutes to go. Do you think Gigantor is going to make it in time? Cross your fingers. <sighs> Joking, that's for sure. Giganto may have spoiled our plans the first time, but he won't be able to again. Put one million dollars in an iron box and drop it in Lake John. Deliver the money in the iron box by noon tomorrow, or we'll set another bomb in one of your planes, only this time you won't know which one. Mm, all right, one million dollars by noon tomorrow in Lake John. Oh. Get me the police. Get me the police and the fire department. This is the plan I've made, gentlemen. We'll surround that lake so the crooks won't be able to pick up the money without being seen. I'll catch them yet! The police surround the lake, not knowing that they are being watched from the Scallywag Embassy. 
Look at the troops all around the lake. <laughs> I'd like to see their faces when we pull our surprise. One million dollars. Mm, let's see, how many times my salary is that? Stop joking, watch for the pickup. How can they pick up all that money when it's under the water? They must have some skin divers they plan to use. Push the button. <laughs> right! Well, because it's in his way. Can't he escape? Yes, sir. Tell him. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how clever he is. on fire. Well, I'd better call the fire department fast. I'd better have Gigantor fight the fire till they come. The enemy robot escapes as Gigantor stays behind to put out the forest fire. Gigantor stopped the fire inspector, but that robot got away from him and delivered the million dollars into the hands of the enemy. Jim, that bunch of hoodlums are very clever and shrewd, whoever they are. They're clever, all right, and they must be well organized, too. I'm certain they'll strike again before long with another threat. Yeah, they got away with it once, so now they won't be afraid to try it again. That's right. Next time, we've got to be ready for them. And we will be. just came in from a hidden submarine off the coast. The robot arrived there safely with a one million dollars. <laughs> That's good news. Scalioag will soon be a rich and powerful land, won't it, Ambassador? Yeah, we're gonna start taking over the world before long, aren't we, sir? Not yet. Our country needs a lot more money before we can start taking over the world. But we bomb now. <laughs> the power and light companies next. Good, but you better think of some way to keep that Gigantor out of our business this time. I have a little plan that should get the robot Gigantor out of the way. <laughs> out of the way for good. Later, 
at the Electric Power and Light Company, the office of the president, Mr. High Voltum. Give this to the president of the company. It's important that it gets to him. Very well. I'll see that he receives it. Good day. It's terrible. Worse than that, it's awful. You're right. This is terrible. This is awful. Call out the police. What? They want one billion dollars from your company? Oh, that was the president of the electric company. Those crooks want a billion dollars, so they're going to blow up one of the dams. Which one? Big Beaver Dam. That's a new one that's under construction right now. Yes, I've seen it. Where do they want the money to be delivered, Inspector? At Big Beaver Dam. And what's more, they insist that Gigantor deliver the money. Why Gigantor, I wonder? Hmm. They want Gigantor to carry the money. Now, why should they? They must plan to trap Gigantor, Dr. Brilliant. We'll think of something. Cheer up. Time's so short. They said the money should be delivered at the dam three days from now. Hmm. <sighs> three days later, at the site of Big Beaver Dam. Hoping to catch the thieves, the police have once again surrounded the area. Hmm, it's nearly time. Stand by for most anything to happen. There's Gigantor. They sent him right into our trap. Are you ready? It is time. <laughs> okay, here goes. Those double-crossers. Not only do they want the money, they want to destroy Gigantor, just as I thought. Hmm. That's a ticket. With Gigantor out of the way, we don't have to worry about a thing. Now we can steal all the money we want. I'll send a signal to our robot, and he'll get rid of those policemen. They'll be easy targets with Gigantor unable to protect them. There's the enemy robot again!
think we'll hear any threats anymore. You never found out who the thieves were, did you? No, Doctor. We never saw hide nor hair of them. I just assume we never get a chance to see those hoodlums. Hmm. Well, I don't understand one thing yet. How could there be one Gigantor up in the sky and another Gigantor down on the ground by the dam? The Gigantor we sent out first to fool the thieves was only an imitation. Dr. Brilliant put it together with leftover scraps from the real Gigantor. Why didn't you tell me about it? I thought I was seeing double. <laughs> well, there's an old saying that two Gigantors are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> We couldn't bring more money back to Scallywag. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. When we get home to our country, we'll set to work to figure out another scheme. Oh, no, you won't, Ambassador Scamp. We're the International Police Brigade. We finally caught you. You're wanted for crimes in 15 countries. Handcuff them. They're under arrest. Watch away, sir. No! Catch them! Hold oh, oh, in the name of the international law! <laughs> Just where do you think you're going? Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got this, Galloway. Uh, and I've got this, Gamp. <laughs> and Gigantor heads for another exciting adventure. The real Gigantor. Hup, hup, hup. 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 H